Hello everybody, today is the last day of our trip to Shiraz and we have chosen the last day to visit Persepolis where the greatest king of Iran and used to and the world, yeah, I hate this and the world used to live uh, we are far from here so it might be a bit blurry but oh my god it feels great but uh, I'm gonna continue a little bit but when I zoom in uh, is this clear you think? yeah Oh, okay, let's go inside. Fantastic! Amazing! Thrilled! Thrilling! So excited! Don't worry, we're gonna get closer. But this is just the general view. Okay, can I say? Okay, so as we know, here we are in Persepolis, Takht Jamshi, in about uh, 518 BC, Darius or Darius, uh, the great uh, who ruled over a world empire with solid cultural institutions and containing many of the civilized nations of the ancient world to power decided to uh, he found uh, Persepolis in the heart of the empire to serve as a symbol of his power and also as a magnificent setting for celebrating the great national and religious festival of Nowruz. Nowruz uh, is called, or Nowruz, is called uh, the New Year's Day in Iran, uh, which um, setting for celebrating the great national and religious festivals, as, uh, and, uh, as I mentioned, and normally it, uh, Nowruz coincided with the uh, spring uh, equinox. Uh, it is about around uh, 21st of March and uh, people uh, here know this place as, uh, as I said, Takht Jamshid, but internationally it is known as Persepolis. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, okay. To the stars? Okay, so we have uh, we are going up and it is like 110 stairs, but you don't feel tired because uh, the height of the stairs are so short that you don't even feel tired. It's it's inspiring, I think. It's really interesting and when you enter this place, you finally see these monuments these uh, glorious monuments and uh, this was the entrance to huge horses I uh, used to cow. Uh, with, with what? Cow with being. Cows? With being. Was it cows? Yeah. Yeah my mistake it was cows and very interesting really huge With the help of some 3D cameras, you'll be able to uh, visit here completely to see what it used to like with complete details. This is, this is really interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. This is the main. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but... Like, combined. <laughs> combined. Yeah, this is so 
this is the food from, uh, from uh, it's the mix, uh, mixture of Babylon and uh, yeah, Lamasso yeah. and uh, Abu it's mix of Egypt. Right, okay. These are original. And they put the stones on each other one by one and then they started cutting them from up to down and they were shaped. They didn't use any mortar cement between the stones. You know that Muhammad Kaim Khan Zan, the founder of Zan dynasty in Shiraz? Mm -hmm. That bazaar, that's the things they used to say. Kraft Schulenberg was one of the most famous ambassadors from Germany at the time of Hitler. Mm. Sandy. They, they made these instructions themselves? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They they kind of yeah. And Sandy was one of the most famous uh, Journalists of America who explored the south of Africa and Nile River in Egypt. Yeah, exactly. In Chicago, in New Zealand. And according to those clay tablets, when they wanted to put the stones on the other, at first they made them a big hill. Yeah? Or they made uh, by the use of scaffold. They put their stones on each other one by one. Then they cut them from up to down, they, sh they shape. This is an unfinished box. But the columns were different. When they wanted to move the columns, after they made the base of the color, then they cross up the color. And at the center, they do find a socket, like a Lego. Yeah. And they put their stones to each other yeah. without water. For example, if you had a left hand, they moved around. Mm -hmm. There was no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice scaffold. By wow. using the scaffold. And we found a lot of goodies because we saw and can see one of the, some of them in the museum of the by, by the mixture yeah. of the yeah. scaffold, yeah. by the mixture of ropes and pulleys, mm -hmm. they can be assigned by scaffold, they put them on each other one by one, mm -hmm. and then they cut them from up to down. At first, they have to This is 100 column palace that's surrounded by a portico on the north and some story room and gardens on the east and a corridor on the west. We had 100 stone column in the central hall of this palace. So this palace was called 100 Column Palace, mm -hmm. and it was used by armies. Mm -hmm. The king is sitting on a royal throne with a scepter in his right hand mm -hmm. and a lotus flower in his left hand. You know that mm -hmm. each lotus flower had 12 petals, mm -hmm. and those 12 petals were similar to 12 months of year. Mm -hmm. 12 months of year. In front of the king, on the ground, there is two incense burners to make the air fragrant. And there's a person in front of the king is keeping his hand in front of his uh, mouth like this. He's giving report to the king at the beginning of New Year. And they are, they are under a canopy, you see that. Something to, for example, to make shadow. Yeah, and exactly, and the king uh, sat, uh, sat down under the canopy and with some uh, servant, and uh, behind the king, you can see a servant who's keeping a flying piece over the king's head. Yeah? And uh, there are four persons under the canopy. And out of the canopy, we have, uh, we have some other uh, uh, guard men who are keeping the lances in their hands. Under the canopy, over there, we have five rows. And on each row, we have 10 Persian and Median officers. I told you that Cyrus the Great united Persian and Medians, and then he made the first Persian Empire to Iran. Let's I told that under the king here we have five rows. On each row you can see ten Persian and Median officers. Look at the second one from this man with round hat and tight garment is Median from North of Iran, province of Hamadan. And the other one with fluted hat and loose garment is Persian. They are alternately Persian and Medians. One Persian, one Median. I told you that Cyrus the Great united Persian and Medians and then he made the first Persian Empire in Iran. If you compare the second one with the other side, you see that they are symmetric.
And there is another dish on the left side here for this man. Can you see the other dish on the left side? No. Compare that one with this one. Water? Yes. And there is another like on the left side. And he's keeping water dish on the left side again. I mean that they are symmetric. Uh. 50 Persian and Median officers have been shown here. And 50 in the other case. Over there it makes 100 Persian and Median officers. Like, and on the other ones, we have nine niches to decorate the center of home. Very close, yeah? These are niches to decorate the center of home. We found the clay tablets at the southern part of this palace, according to the uh, that clay tablets. This palace was built by Xerxes as, and his son Artaxerxes I. It is in America nowadays. Mm. It's a part of nations, different nations. From Greece, from Babylon, from uh, India, so on. Are carrying things thrown on their uplifted hand to show the respect oh, to the yes. king. If you look at them, you see that they have different faces and different clothes. For example, look at the first one, he's barefoot. He's not wearing clothes. He's coming from India. Oh. The first one. Okay. And the last one. Had chain hairs and big nose from Africa. Oh. Why? Because of the... Curly hairs? Oh, and the curly hairs. And they have different faces and different clothes. I tell you that. And they are trying things to, to show the respect to the king. Subject nations, yeah. 28 nations. I think the... The, the third one is from Egypt, from Greece. And then when you go to Apadana, I introduced uh, all of them. One by one. They were the most valuable horses in the time, so they have been shown bigger than other horses in person. If you compare them with the last group, you see that they are, they are bigger than the last group. The last group are bringing two chariots with Caspian horses. If you pay good attention, in detail you see that the Caspian horses are smaller than the second group. From here. Chariot with just, uh, jasmine horses, yeah. and each chariot has a wheel exactly with, tw uh, with uh, 12 spokes. And do those 12 spokes are fixed together by pin at the center. If you look at the center, at the center, you can see a small figure. Uh, yeah. Some believe that that is the only woman representation in Persepolis. Uh -huh. According to Mithraism, it was forbidden to show the figure of women in public places. Maybe they wanted to show important, uh, women importance at the time. If you separate this pin, everything vanished. Yeah. Yeah? And the second and third rules, you can see the depiction of Persian and Median noblemen who are talking to each other friendly. For example, this man is turning back talking to the man behind. Mm. And the other one is putting his right hand on the shoulder of the man ahead. They are all moving into Apadana Palace for Nowruz greetings. Uh -huh. Please pay good attention to details. For example, this man is putting his right hand in front of his mouth as a sign of respect to the uh, king. Yes. Yes. Another man is showing his respect in this way. Uh, put it in the... His hand in this way. Ah, yeah. uh, this way. This, yeah, this, exactly. Uh, yeah. And they are uh, exactly... They are holding hands. You see that? It's very nice. Uh -huh. you know? mm -hmm. Behind these three rows, we have two kinds of cuneiform inscription, Elamite and Babylonian. We have another cuneiform inscription in all Persian on the other side, which is symmetrical with these ones. Any question? You have any question? Which one is the Elamite? The upper one is Elamite, and the lower one is Babylonian. So what does it say? What? What does it say? It is said that the great god is Aaron as though, who created man, who created happiness for man, who made Zexus king, one king of men, one lord of men, by the young. By the grace of our Mazda, I made this part. At first, the king introduced himself. At first, uh, at first he venerated God. Then he introduced himself, and uh, at the end, he wanted God to help him his family. They are the same in text, but they are different in writing and languages. 